Hi, I'm Stu and welcome to a demo of Agronomize Ag Twin Platform. Today I'll be walking you through the ways we have combined Azure Farm Beats and CSIRO Science to deliver an AI infused digital twin of the Burua Agricultural Research Station. The objective of this project was to enable simple and intuitive access to large volumes of data with a direct focus on soil moisture at various depths, soil carbon, hydrology, landscapes, weather and farm design. By bringing this wealth of information together in a simple and flexible way, we have been able to help understand the relationships between factors such as weather and soil moisture while establishing a digital foundation for the future development of the BARS digital twin. Utilising a network of in-ground sensors, which I'll show you in a moment, the team at CSIRO and FarmBeats are able to generate interpolated maps at many depths to show what is happening to the soil moisture or plant available water on any given day. Let's dive in and take a look at what happened when the drought broke at the start of 2020. Firstly, this is a timeline where a user is able to manage which data sets they want to look at. You can see the analysis type, available water, at various depths that I have selected. And the top right is the chosen date range. You can change your selection by using the filters drop down. What we are looking at here is some sorry looking country. With very little rain for years leading up to this date, there is almost zero available water through the profile of the soil, which is represented by these dense red maps. However, as we moved into March, you can see some significant daily rainfall totals and the maps at higher depths starting to come back to life, with splashes of blue representing a significant jump in the available water. However, that wasn't anywhere near enough to fill the profile of the soils, and you can see that it wasn't until April of 2020 that we really started to witness the reprieve with consistent falls and cooler temperatures. Still, the lower depths needed more rain. Let's take a deeper dive into the analysis. By adding the 300 and 1700 millimeter layers into my analysis set, we are able to view these maps in detail in the main window. Here, you can really drill down into the variability across the farm. You can add as many layers as you like to this set for any given investigation. So let's jump forward to November of this year and take a look at how the profile has changed from year to year. You can see much greater consistency across the profile, which is no surprise given the amount of rain which has fallen in recent months. As mentioned, these maps are generated through a network of sensors across the farm, so we can go deeper into the data that is driving the modelling. Again, using the end of the drought as an example, we can clearly see how different depths responded to rainfall events at this exact location. We noticed modest lifts at the higher depths from early rain in 2020, but it wasn't until 37 mils of rain fell on the 4th of March that the available water really took off. However, that wasn't the case across the profile. As you can see when I turn on each of the depths, how much rain actually needs to fall after a long dry spell before the available water in the soil really made its way through the profile. By analysing the surface of the landscape, we can continue to build the unique water story for this particular property. Utilising high resolution elevation models, we are able to predict the flow of water across the farm. This farm specific insight gives a critical piece of context to better understand what is happening below ground, make more informed management decisions, understand areas of the landscape which may be vulnerable to erosion or water logging, and capture overland flows in efficient and compliant ways. Carbon sequestration is at the front of mind for the industry, and it was certainly a part of this project. We've enabled the analysis that has been completed by the soils team at CSIRO to be presented as another layer amongst the wealth of information that exists for this property. Here, we are looking at the soil organic carbon in the top 30 centimetres of dirt. The areas of deep green are at a higher concentration comparative to the rest of the data set. We can see how the variability changes when we dig deeper into the soil to analyse 30 centimetres to 1.2 metres. Now the inverse of this is the area of the farm vulnerable to carbon losses. Here the deeper the red, the higher the risk. Again, we can simply and intuitively compare these analysis layers in detail and in context of other data which may be driving our investigations or decisions. 
Weather is a factor for every farmer in every corner of the sector. Having the ability to view real-time hyper-local information within an integrated platform is a must. Here, we are hooked into the local bars weather station and can get a simple overview of what is happening on site as well as the historical information that has been rolled up on a daily basis across the life of the data stream. Changing gears a bit now, let's use the Ag Twin platform to expose the way this farm is configured and where some of the fixed assets are positioned across the farm. Firstly, we now have a source of truth for every paddock across the farm. These survey grade definitions of the management areas are a critical step in the digitization of the system. They act as a digital anchor for everything that has happened or will happen in this paddock, enable connections through to research projects happening on these farms, and when autonomous robots are freely moving about the farm, making sure they're in the field and not in the fence. This approach means every part of the farm is digitized. Click anywhere and the app will inform you what is nearby or look for groups of assets such as dams or silos. This is just the beginning of the digital twin journey for this farm at Burua. With this foundation in place and access made easy, farm managers, collaborators and external stakeholders can easily continue the development of their unique system.